think people looking for a family car these days do want about seven seats in them, but they don't necessarily want the huge vehicles that go with them. And I think Peugeot, with their 308 SW, which is what I'm driving today, um, have sort of reached a compromise. Yes, it's got the seven seats, but it hasn't got the huge belt that goes with it. It's actually a gorgeous looking car. We had the um, 308 hatch, which I thought was rather bland looking. And this is modelled on that. The front is exactly the same. But because the rear is so different, it's so curvaceous and lovely, I think it's a stunning looking car. I know Kate has already talked about how stylish this car is, but I wanted to show you a few more lovely details of this car. Look at the amazing cat's eyes headlamps, the distinctive shark-like Peugeot nose, and moving around to the back, what makes this car more distinctive from the 308 hatch is the boot. Look at this fantastic, curvaceous bit of glass. It wraps around the whole of the back of the boot, down to the sides, and it reminds me of a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. It's beautiful. And this car comes with an amazing panoramic sunroof, which is one of the largest ones, I believe, on the market. And with the press of a button, it can close in case you are worried about getting too hot. There it goes. But in actual fact, Peugeot have thought about that and have got better air coming through, stronger air conditioning and darkened glass at the back so it actually doesn't get overheated. I'm going to open it again because it's so lovely when it's open. This car is all about the boot and the seating arrangements. There are a couple of ways of getting into the boot. First is like this. So you can just drop in your bags of shopping. And also if you're parked in a really tight space, it's, instead of having to open the whole boot, you can just open the, the rear tailgate glass. So that's one way. And the other way is the traditional way of opening the boot like this, which reveals seven seats. So you can fill your car with seven people, or you can put down the rear two seats, or one down, two down, and even the next three go down. Or you can take any of the five rear seats out to leave a huge flat load space. It's a really comfortable car to sit in. The steering wheel is adjustable for height and reach, and the seats are very adjustable. But you can't make little minor adjustments with the seats because it's a lever rather than a dial, which is fine for stationary. But if you're on the move and you think, oh my god, my huge husband was in here previously and it's not quite right, it's actually quite difficult. However, of course, you shouldn't be doing it on the move, so that's my mistake. <laughs> I do love the dash and the dials. The dash is that lovely squidgy plastic which I particularly like. And the dials are just gorgeous. They're very simple, white and black and symmetrical and just lovely to look at. Very, very clear. There are loads of buttons and goodness knows controls all over the place. But again, I think they're quite easy to use and easy to see. Peugeot say that the um, controls on the sticks here for the volume, for the um, CD player and radio and changing channel, and also for the speed cruise control are very visual, you can see them, but actually that's not quite the case. I'm very used to them because I've got a Peugeot, but I know Paul found them very irritating because he was thought he was altering the volume of his music, but in actual fact he was increasing his speed control on the cruise. So that was a bit alarming for him. But well, that's a typical man, isn't it, really? Unless it's right in front of his face, he can't really understand it. A memory like a sieve. There's also one other clever thing about this car, which I'm going to show you. The front passenger seat goes down as well. So if you're carrying a canoe or even a wardrobe, you can put all of the seats by the driver's seat down. I also wanted to show you how the kids or whoever's going to sit in the back uh, can get in. It's very easy. You just pull this forward like this and these just tilt up and the children can just climb in. Obviously if your granny's coming um, it's probably easier if she sits on the front seat. There's seven engines in the range, four petrol and three diesel and we've got a 1.6 diesel which I feel is amazing. Um, for its size it's very pokey, very fast, very responsive um, yet the fuel um, consumption is quite is very low and CO2 emissions are 134 grams per kilometre. So it really is an efficient engine. Of course, there'd be no point in having a lovely engine if it wasn't a Georgia Drive as well. And this car really is a Georgia Drive. It's responsive, it's nippy, the steering's a joy, and the gears just go into place so nicely. You really know you're there. <laughs> While we're inside, I just thought I'd show you the air, little airline tables with room for your cup. 
two air convents for the comfort of the passengers and a little little bin to put your sweet wrappers in. I love the parking sensors. That's amazing. Mainly because when I've got the music on loud and I'm going to park, I always think you have to turn the music off. I have in my car. But with this, they turn the music down for you so you can still hear the parking sensors. That is amazing. There's also this cargo net, which can be used flat if you want to store something underneath to stop it moving around. It can be used vertically and it can be used hammock style, which is very useful. I know Kate put three bags of shopping in here and they just hung like that, which is, keeps them nice and neat. Um, the light in the rear boot is a removable torch. And then we've also got these little pockets here. Of course, the best bit is the perfume diffuser. We did come across this before in the 207 Coupe Cabriolet, where I did laugh at it a lot. But I now have come to appreciate it, especially with my boys having such smelly feet. It comes in six different um, smells. As Pojo says, you can change it according to your mood. So I don't want some mood pulls in today. Vanilla. <laughs> Vanilla or pure sensation. Very neat is that the glove box um, benefits from air con, so you put your chocolate in there without it melting. <laughs> I know this isn't a big thing, but I quite like this. You can put your sunglasses, little, little place to put your sunglasses there. Very neat. The occasional seats also have armrests and a little cup holder. And another nice little feature for shopping is you can actually just put a little bag here so there's something you've bought from the shop so you don't want to get creased, you can just put it up there. This car comes in at 19.445 and we've got some added extras, the parking sensors, the alarm, the metallic paint. So it's still a fair amount of money, but Compared to other seven-seaters, I think it's quite a fair bit cheaper. Um, and for me, I think the flexibility it offers, having the seven seats, having a huge boot space, um, being able to take those two rear seats out quite easily to give you more boot space. In fact, it's such a sleek-looking car. I think it's a fantastic family car, and I definitely would consider it if we could ever afford to get rid of our tank.